So, uh, yeah. For those of y'all who've been following me for a minute, right? Y'all know that uh, my speaker, my Bluetooth speaker, has this weird habit where it acts like Jesus. It dies, won't turn on anything. Sometimes it'll charge, though, but it still won't turn on. I'll, I'll put it back in the box. But like, And it's always like, it has to be like two, three months later. And I'll go turn on and work just like normal. I can literally shake this shit around, hear shit rattling in and everything. Like shit fucking bugged out. It's almost like the shit when you would hit the TV and come back on, but that don't work. No, you gotta put it back in the box and leave it there for like months. <laughs> I think they did that intentionally so they could be like, people gonna return it, we can resell it, and then people gonna return it again, keep it going. Because they just not patient enough to put it back in the box and wait for three months. Sell the same unit four times. And the brand is called Zealot. Like an anti-gun zealot. Someone who feel like they have such a righteous cause that's really not righteous. No, so check this out. I'm fired up. I'm fired up right now. I'm pissed the fuck off about this shit with this daycare. Because it just hit me, right? You know what I'm saying? Be about what we get money. You know what I'm saying? I get money. She get good money. You know what I'm saying? We paid, a, a, we paid a whole shitload of money for this goddamn daycare, first of all. And then on top of that, for the summer, we had to pay more money. It's still summer. It is still fucking summer. And you are telling me, we're sorry we can't do this till we fix this, which is going to be way after summer. That's what you're telling me. And I go to my wife and I say, you know what? We really should go, we really should talk to a bunch of the other parents who got kids that go in. And all if we all complain about it, we get that back. And you know what my wife do? Man, it's not it's not even a big deal. I said, what the fuck do you mean it's not even a big deal? She's like, it was only like a couple hundred extra dollars. I said, only a couple hundred extra dollars in this fucking economy? No, we need that. We need that. And I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who feel this way. And that's not even what pissed me off. It's the fact that where I'm pissed off about something that is logical to be logical as fuck to be pissed off about. Because the way it looked to me, the way it looked to me, this woman has not been charged with nothing. Not even with driving while looking at the cell phone. So she, I don't even know. If she, I don't even think she got a ticket. Like, there was nothing even the police even put out about this. Yeah, like, nothing happened. You put a whole bunch of kids at risk. What if that shit was just an inside job to get the motherfuckers money, then, then halfway through the shit, be like, well, we got that extra money. You know what I'm saying? And the thing was, we still got charged for that shit. Even though my kid was there for an hour and had to go home. It's just a little convenient. It's almost like she just crashed into the fucking daycare, right? Right there, like, it was, I believe it was right in my kid's fucking little classroom he be in. And you just happen to be like, not hit no kids, right? I wouldn't put it past motherfuckers because some motherfuckers are so lazy and sleazy and grimy in this society that is looking more un American by the minute, and I hate it. I hate it. You know what I'm saying? For me to say, listen, for me to say, I think, I, you know what I'm saying, I wish the founding fathers was here, the motherfuckers who stole this shit from my ancestors. For me to do that shit, it means shit has gotten bad because even though I hate, you know what I'm saying, the white half of my ancestors for what they did back then, at the same time, they enabled the, the 90s. The 90s I had growing up wouldn't have fucking happened if they didn't do that shit. So as much as I hate them, it's almost like the enemy of my enemy of my friend type shit. But you know what I'm saying? You know what, a, what that motherfucking princess bride always said, man? You kill my family. Oh, wait, wait. You kill my father. My name is Nico Matoy. You kill my father. Prepare to die. Except this, my name is Anigo Montoya. <laughs> I ain't even gonna say it because they're gonna interpret that the wrong way. But you kill my ancestors, that's all I'm gonna say. Can't say the rest, they're gonna try to take that out of context. Disclaimer. But anyway, kind of know the fence walking. Know the fence walking. Why would they not? 
You know what I'm saying? That's why I can't show nothing out here. But anyway, my point is, so it's like the fact that I know it, my wife mad about it too. I'm mad about it. So obviously other people mad about it. And what, you, what happened in my day is you would get all these people together. We would go march on down here, drive on down here, call these motherfuckers up back to back. Say, well, no, this is some bullshit. We're really pushing this issue. I'm not saying we're going to do no riding or no bullshit. No, we're going to be civil. But I'm saying, the fact that no one's trying to do that but me? Like, come on now. That ain't cool. And my wife even got mad at me for being mad about, as mad about it as I am. She's like, but I'm trying to go bad. You yelling shit. I said, you just, like, yeah, you, you, you still walking around. You're not going to, you're not in bed yet. And you act like I'm not supposed to be, like, feel ripped off in some way. Like, you act like I'm supposed to be, oh, yeah, my brother. Like, do you understand what I did to people who tried to run off on me before? Do you understand what I even did to people who tried to take what was rightfully theirs back from me while I was taking it from them? I ain't gonna get into it. So, the fact that I'm the only motherfucker being like, this is a fucking problem and trying to deal with it civilly. You know what I'm saying? And my, and my wife wanna tell me I'm wrong for that. You know what I said? I said, no, I said, I'm completely right. You know why? Because America, fuck yeah. I'm out this bitch.